Lion and Magic. I was walking in the park in a beautiful local cemetery. The evening was fine and quiet. The sun has already disappeared in the clouds and the thick layer of a newborn twilight was sinking down on stones and statues. I was walking and breathing in the smells of the evening. There was a delicate scent of white flowers and chestnuts in the air and the birds were singing in sync with my steps. Suddenly, at one of the turnings, something caught my eye. There, on a large pedestal, sat a beautiful stone lion. Something in his glance and his posture made me want to stop and take a closer look at him. I felt immediately drawn to the graceful lion. Suddenly, the lion moved his eyebrows and looked straight at me. Good evening, he said in a deep, beautiful voice. Good evening, I replied, slightly startled at the lion speaking. I am glad you came here, he said and quickly jumped off the postman. He was standing next to me and looking at me with his intense eyes. I would like to show you something, he said. Come with me. I followed the lion silently. This whole setting seemed completely unbelievable. But despite the slight fear and excitement inside of me, I felt a strange wave of trust towards the magical lion. It seemed as though the lion was guiding me to some new and wonderful adventure something I knew very little about yet. Do you believe in miracles? The lion asked and turned his head back at me. Yes, I replied and laughed to myself. I have never heard lions speaking before, let alone about miracles. Then watch, he said and he looked in front of him. As I looked, I noticed that we were standing in front of a beautiful big tree. The tree was full of clarity and brightness and there was something very unusual about it. What is this tree? I asked the lion. Shh, he said. Just watch. I looked back at the tree. Suddenly, I noticed that the tree started to change. First, there appeared the white light around the tree, like a warm glow or a soft radiance. Then the light started getting stronger and it was sparkling with its pleasant glow and touching the branches and the leaves. It seemed as though the tree was smiling itself because of what was happening. I looked at the lion. I so much wanted to share the joy with him. But the lion stood still and silently observed the scene. I could feel he was agreeing with me. I looked back at the tree. Oh my God! Now the tree was turning green and blue and pink and yellow, all the colors of the world. It seemed as though it was a dance of colors, like millions of sparkles, like little fairies were dancing and having fun in the branches. The scene was breathtaking. I could not take my eyes off the magical tree. It felt almost as though the tree could hear my thoughts and was replying to me with the beautiful colors. Green, pink, yellow. I felt there was a very special connection between me and the tree at that moment. What a miracle, I thought to myself. And there we stood for an hour two hours, maybe the whole day. To be honest with you, I don't remember how much time has passed. When the dance subsided and the light started to get calmer and softer, we both bowed to the beautiful tree as though to say thank you for the magical performance. You understand now? said the lion on our way back. Yes. I said, and I could feel 
that I found some very important truth today. The lion smiled. I wanted to tell you to believe in miracles. You saw the tree, you believed in the tree, and the tree danced in front of you. You saw me, you believed in me, and I showed you the tree. Trust your instincts. Trust your feelings. Look deeper into the essence of things. Trust yourself. You've seen everything that you needed to see today. Now go and follow your instincts. I was standing there and admiring the magnificent lion. What a beautiful soul! What divine wisdom! I was feeling so grateful to the lion for this experience. Suddenly, as though waking up from a dream, I couldn't believe what I saw in front of me. The lion was laying down on the postament just as he was before, as if he's never moved before. His graceful figure was lying there without emotion, and his eyes were looking in front of him still. The lion was a stone statue. And then I realized, this is a miracle. When we look at the things and we believe them, when we look deeper, we see through reality. When we trust ourselves, we trust our imagination, and we go on a journey and explore and follow it. The miracles are already here. They are in us. They are in everything around us. They are in the way we see the world. How beautiful. I wanted to cry. Not because the line was gone, but because the feeling was so strong and the truth was so simple. We just need to trust and believe. And then, in the most unexpected places, there opens real magic. Thank you.